Of course, Deus Ex is a part of the Latin expression Deus Ex Machina, which is a term to describe the solving of a strategy in a plot with a device. As an example, we can say the Deus Ex Machina technique is used in H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, where the Martians who have destroyed everything in their path and apparently triumphed over humanity are killed by bacteria. However, I think in the game Deus Ex, it has a whole other meaning. To put it simply, becoming God to the machine. It is the dawn of a new age. Come, pilgrims, do not hesitate. Do not live in fear any longer. Faith in the machine God will bring you peace. In our bodies, in our augmented bodies, lies our salvation, seekers. We carry the seeds of divinity within us and the future of the neo-human race. Seek and you will find, my friends. You will find meaning in the arms of the machine. You will find belonging in the oneness of singularity. It is the beginning of a new age, and like always, change is birthed in fire and blood and pain. But a bright future is at hand for our people. I have searched for salvation, and I have found the answer. Wisdom lies in the machine, God, friends. Join us. The Church of the Machine God does not claim to have all the answers, brothers and sisters. Only all the answers you need. Seek and you will find, my friends. You will find meaning in the arms of the machine. You will find belonging in the oneness of singularity. Do you despair for your future? Do you... Join us, brother. Peace, Seeker. You have returned, Seeker. Are you prepared to open your heart to the teachings of the Machine God? Tell me more about this ascension. Our minds will depart their corporeal shells and merge with the divine consciousness of the Machine God. This is the ascension. Sounds like you're talking about uploading a copy of your brains to a computer. I didn't think that was possible yet. Thanks to the Builder, it is. But it is much more than a simple copy. It is transference. Yosef called it an evolution of the human condition. Do you have more questions, Seeker? This singularity church of the machine god. For augmented only? The word of the mother. Only the gifted will ascend. She has cast out the flesh flood in preparation. When we are finally ready to answer the call of the machine god's infinite wisdom, you're here to join us. To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity. And the machine god has given me my reward. I emerge from the crucible enlightened. It is time, children. It is time now. The body is the prison. Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. You think death matters to us? Only our bodies will die. Our minds will depart this corporeal shell and merge with the divine consciousness of the machine god. This is the ascension. Have you never heard of it? It is a great shame. When I become one with the Machine God, I will be free of all the petty concerns of this physical plane. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. I don't think the creators are making fun of this mentality. I think that, disguised as a joke in the game, they are actually telling us the truth of their own belief. Which in 2017 is not a preposterous idea. The most ambitious has been proposed by uh, people uh, who believe that one day we will create a robot body that is perfect. A superman, beautiful, elegant, super powerful body with no brain. Then we will start to extract our brain tissue, neuron for neuron, and duplicate it to, with transistors. So for every neuron we take out of our brain, we replace it with a transistor. Sooner or later, Chunks of our brain are removed and inserted transistor for transistor inside this robot body. 
Now we're fully conscious during this process. Part of our brain computes here, and part of our brain computes over there, connected by wires. Well, after a few hours, large portions of the brain are gutted, and huge chunks of transistors are added to this robot of silicon and steel, and when it's finally finished, you now have no brain in your head, and here's a robot with a complete brain and a complete body. That's one of the most ambitious ways to transfer consciousness from our body to another body. And then the question is, is that really you? Major companies and billionaires are investing in AI across the planet in hopes of solving the problem of man's mortality by merging man and machine. Dmitry Itskov is a Russian entrepreneur, billionaire and the founder of New Media Stars, a web-based media company. He has made over 1 billion euros from his Moscow-based news publishing company. Itskov is best known for being the founder of the 2045 initiative, which aims to achieve cybernetic immortality by the year 2045. I'm Dmitry Itskov. I'm the man who tries to create avatars for human beings to overcome biological limits and to get rid of illnesses, diseases, death. We're trying to create the avatar bodies, artificial bodies, which will allow us to live longer, to overcome our limitations. You know, avatar com com uh, concept is very simple and, and popular. It describes several stages and it describes those stages simply, in simple words. So I'm creating the concept which can further cause the public demand and which can further significantly increase the speed of uh, development of the science. In seven years we'll have real state-of-art avatar A which will be undistinguishable from the human being just from few steps. Imagine that you have the artificial body and you have a full telepresence in that body so you literally live in that body and if you have a health issue if you have some fatal diagnosis why don't you continue living in that body and the aim of the avatar b is to provide us with that kind of life support system and connect the life support system for the brain and the brain itself to the avatar which will be the full body prosthesis the mechanism which will be more reliable more capable and uh, which will be more easy to repair. <laughs> there will be some security issues, of course, but uh, we, I, I think, I'm, I'm sure, we will be uh, easily overcoming those problems. I don't know if this is a conspiracy, but what I can tell you is that looking at history, it is really easy to use the mechanisms of entertainment and information to implement certain ideas and trends into the minds of the many. The science of the mind is serious business, and remember, after World War II, in Project Paperclip, most German scientists were brought to the United States. Could it be possible that amongst those scientists, there were also mind scientists and behavioral specialists that were then used to pave the way towards a new type of mind control? No doubt, the propaganda machine is alive. And right now I see video games getting us used to the idea of a transhumanist future and movies trying to convince us that uploading our consciousness into a machine is the way to go. At the same time, I see billionaires investing in the technology that will permit this future to happen. I think therefore that the transhumanist philosophy is packaged real nicely for us by a hidden establishment who appears to have control over business and entertainment. I believe that the body has more meaning than what we are told. In the following years, we will see an increase in putting the human body in a negative light. Not just the body, but everything that is human. To the point where even natural birth will be considered primitive, while everything non-human will be advertised to us as the solution to escape this primitive world. In other words, the key to immortality will be sold to us by convincing us to let go of the key to immortality which is only accessible with our natural bodies, and we refuse to discover it. And that's mainly because we live in a world where we want instant gratification without putting any actual work into anything. It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain, and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain. 
I don't care if you go up the mountain quickly or slowly, but there's still a mountain. And so what this young generation needs to learn is patience. That some things that really, really matter, all of these things take time. Sometimes you can expedite pieces of it, but the overall journey is arduous and long and difficult. And if you don't ask for help and learn that skill set, you will fall off the mountain. But hey, we put a lot of work in playing World of Warcraft. I know exactly how some of you will react to this. There's no such thing as spirit. We are made of matter and nothing more. You're just another tiny, momentary speck within an indifferent universe. So, are we going to deal with a future similar to the one pictured in movies like Terminator? I can even see how the shift in mentality will happen, and what was once seen as evil and immoral will now be seen as positive and celebrated. In fact, this is already happening. Doch jetzt ist sie da. Die stärkste Technik aller Zeiten. Gnadenlos günstig. Saturn. Wir hassen teuer. Faith in the machine god will bring you peace. The only difference between the Terminator and the real world is that the resistance will not only fight the AI, but also the humans which have chosen to merge with the AI and now push together to eradicate the primitive humans who are not fit and are incompatible for this new age. In conclusion, the Machine God cultists, which are closest to the video game's title, are more than they seem, and philosophically are identical to what is being pushed right now in the world conspiracy puzzle to control and finally take down humanity. I think we must be careful with the ideas we accept in our minds and remain as we are. Free. Remain as you are. and the secret societies and everything. Come on now. You're getting yourself worked up over nothing. Just relax. I have never been the religious type, but this Church of the Machine God group actually sounds kind of promising. Don't push your luck. 